Hi there, this is Hunter Nelson, president of Tortoise and Hare Software, an Atlantic Beach based software development and digital marketing company. Uh, today we'll be doing another WordPress how to, and we'll be looking at how to add a user to your WordPress website. And uh, this is a common activity that you'll need to do when you start working with a marketing agency or web developer is uh, grant them access to your site. Uh, so what I'm going to do is open up a new browser window here with the uh, Chrome and then I'm going to go to a uh, out-of-the-box uh, blank version of a WordPress site um, just for security reasons um, just make sure there's nothing no user data in there that's important um, and what I'm going to do is when you're at your home page you just come to the end of the URL here and add wp-login.php to the end of it. That's wp-login.php. Okay, so that'll take us to the sign-in screen here, and uh, I'll add in my username and password, uh, and log in to the back end here. Okay, so here's the WordPress back end. Uh, on the left side here, uh, there's going to be a little um, navigation item called Users. I'm going to hover over that and then I'm going to move my mouse over over add new and then click add new. Okay, so this is the add new user screen. Uh, there's some fields for you to fill out and uh, I'll just go ahead and do that real quickly. Uh, so I'll add in a username, a new user, and then I'll add in an email here. Um, and these are the two required fields. Uh, you can optionally fill in first name, last name, website. Um, just leave the password field alone and leave send the new user an email about their account checked and what this will do is generate a random password for them send them an email about it and then they'll be able to log in and change their password if they wish um, for the role uh, the default here is subscriber but we want to change that to administrator uh, and that'll allow your web developer to make changes uh, to your website uh, so we'll just click add new user here and that'll take us to the user screen and we can see that a new user has been added. Alright, thank you.